Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX ended flat today, marginally gaining 8.59 points or 0.16% and settled at 5,463 points. Market turnover was 3.16 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is a decrease of 28.42% compared to the previous trading day. Renata Beximco Pharmaceuticals and Reket Ben Kizer Bangladesh from the pharmaceutical sector, Walton High Tech Industries and Bangladesh Shipping Corporation from the industrial sector, and RN Spinning Mills and Olive Industries from the textile sector pulled up the market, while Grameen Fund from telecommunication sector, Pragati Insurance and Green Delta Insurance from the insurance sector, and First Bangladesh Fixed Income Fund fund, and Grameen One Scheme 2 fund from the mutual fund sector mainly dragged down the market today, keeping it flat. In terms of sector-wise return, the NBFI sector posted the highest gain of 1.38 percent, while the textile sector registered the second highest gain of 1.27 percent. On the other hand, the telecommunication sector posted the highest loss of 0.66 percent. Seven textile and three industrial companies were among the top 20 gainers today. Dominic Steel Building Systems, Shyampur Sugar Mills and Desh Garments registered the highest gain, while National Tea Company, Hemi Industries and Migna Cement Mills were the top losers today. There was no disclosed price sensitive information for these stocks. The trading volume of New Line Clothing's EBL First Mutual Fund and LR Global Bangladesh Mutual Fund increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There was no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase for the above mentioned stocks. Top two news today the government has approved several proposals to import liquefied natural gas, LNG, and fertilizers to meet local demand and prevent shortages. According to officials, two LNG cargoes will be imported from the spot market by MS Gunvor Singapore Private Limited at a cost of 6.40 billion Bangladeshi takas and 6.49 billion Bangladeshi takas, with prices set at 13 United States dollars and 57 cents and 13 United States dollars and 77 cents per MMBTU. Additionally, the government has greenlit the purchase of 60,000 tons of urea, 30,000 tons of triple superphosphate (TSP), and 40,000 tons of deammonium phosphate (DAP) fertilizers. The advisor assured that the country will not face a fertilizer shortage. The implementation rate of the annual development program ADP for the July-August period of this fiscal year hit a 12-year low, driven by cautious government spending and political instability. Implementing agencies managed to spend just 7,143 crore Bangladeshi takas during these two months, a sharp decline from the 10,542 crore Bangladeshi takas spent in the same period last year. Despite the government allocating 278,288 crore Bangladeshi takas for the ADP this fiscal year, 9.6% higher than the previous year's revised budget, projects came to a standstill following the ousting of the Sheikh Hasina-led government on August 5th, with contractors abandoning their work. Experts attribute the sluggish implementation to political uncertainties and the bureaucracy's slow response to the interim government's policies. That's all for today. Thank you.